In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion guided transperennial biopsy utilizing the Euronav platform. Equipment required for this procedure includes ultrasound probe, BK ultrasound, stepper, biopsy grid, and Euronav fusion platform. The patient presented is a 58 year old male with a long history of elevated PSA for over eight years. He has had multiple negative biopsies with a urosepsis complication in 2018, resulting in hospitalization. After the second negative truss biopsy in 2018, the patient continued prostate cancer screening with PSA monitoring. However, his PSA continued to rise. The patient underwent a prostate MRI which showed a suspicious lesion on the left base of the prostate. The patient had a 4K score consistent with a 60% risk for prostate cancer and a positive family history of prostate cancer in his father. Past medical history includes lower urinary tract symptoms and the patient had an international prostate symptom score of 0, quality of life score of 1, and a SHIM score of 23. The target for biopsy was identified as a 1.7 centimeter left mid base transition zone lesion. The target region had a T2 weighted MRI score of 3, a diffusion weighted MRI score of 5, and an overall pyrite score of 4. Components of the biopsy module include the grid, the stepper, the probe, and endocavity balloon. The patient was positioned as shown with the electromagnetic field generator just above him. Real-time ultrasound is loaded onto the Euronav platform and the prostate is outlined. Patient MRI is then aligned with the outlined prostate and the targeted lesion is delineated over the ultrasound. The endocavity balloon is then inflated to raise the prostate within the region of the biopsy grid. The targeted lesion is then biopsied utilizing the Euronav platform as a real-time guide. Several cores are taken from the targeted region to ensure that the lesion is accurately characterized. Following biopsy of the targeted region, the prostate is then systematically biopsied using the 12-core template. Following pathological review, results showed benign tissue in all 12 systematic cores as well as all four targeted cores. In conclusion, based on previously published data from our institution, the negative predictive value of a negative MRI truss fusion guided biopsy is very high. This confirmatory transperennial fusion biopsy puts the patient and physician to ease that all previously obtained random biopsies were indeed correct. The patient was able to undergo an MRI transrectal ultrasound fusion-guided transperennial biopsy without any post-operative complications.